Hi guys, it's Caroline, and today I would like to formally welcome all of you to the 21st century. Technology has been a huge part of what we're doing in education for a really long time now, but these days it feels like our students are capable of even more when it comes to their tech. They're quicker with their technology, they're figuring things out faster than ever, and honestly, my students are running my iPad help desk way more often than I am. Because of this technology and the growth we're seeing in our students and these skills, it's our job as educators to also continue growing our skills. I'm really excited because today we're focusing on some of the newest technology out there. That's right guys, today we're talking about artificial intelligence and how it can make your life a little bit easier in the classroom. I know what you're thinking. One of the beauties of education is the human aspect. I think we all saw a few years ago teaching through quarantine is that absolutely nothing can replace the joy of being in a classroom, being present with students, and having the gifts to communicate with them in that way. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be using artificial intelligence to our advantage. Today I want to talk a little bit about ChatGPT and how you can use this AI program to increase your efficiency in the classroom. First things first, what is it? ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence bot that's designed to mimic human conversation. It's an incredibly intelligent piece of free software and it grows and learns through conversation with you and with the internet. The more questions you ask, the better responses you're going to get. And the cool part is these are not just computer generated responses. The responses you're getting from the bot truly feel like human communication. That means there's a lot of things that we could really utilize this for to increase efficiency in the classroom. A question we do get already about this topic is, aren't there so many ways this could go wrong? And yes, there are. There's a lot of concerns about there for students using the bot to generate essay responses, copyright issues, there's no citations involved. While all of these are concerns, trust me, there's so much good that outweighs those worries and we're gonna look at ways you can use it in your classroom. The first category where I think using this artificial intelligence technology could be incredibly helpful is in the automation of things you find yourself writing all the time. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly drafting dangerously similar emails to parents and families to communicate upcoming things in the classroom. Instead of starting from zero every single week, I can use ChatGPT to draft messages to families. Now, anything you're getting from the bot, you're going to want to proofread, make tweaks, and make fit perfectly from you. But instead of starting with a blank slate, I can input the things I'm looking for into the bot, and it's gonna give me a beautiful and dangerously human response to work with. Another area that I think would be awesome to use this technology in is when you're looking for a quick reading activity for your students. You know when you get to that moment and you're like, man, my kiddos could just use a little bit more practice in this skill. Instead of scrambling to find a full-blown worksheet, you can put into chat GPT, give me 10 sentences where students are having to identify the adjectives. And boom, it's gonna give you 10 beautifully grammatically correct sentences all including adjectives for your students to identify. I constantly find myself handwriting sentences, passages, texts for students to practice with to make sure it's hitting on a specific skill, but now I can let artificial intelligence do that work for me. Another category that would be a great place to utilize this technology is the generating of lists. I don't know about you, but as soon as I start teaching about my topics, my students are desperate to read every book connected to that topic, whether it's in science or social studies or even things we're talking about in math. For example, we just started our landform unit in science and every book in my landforms bin in my library is completely empty. So I'm gonna use chat GPT to help me generate a list of third grade appropriate landform texts that I can send onto my librarian at school to see if she has any in the classroom library. That generating of lists is another really cool feature and I don't know about you, I might make it pack for my next vacation for me too. Use this technology to help make lists in your classroom a little bit easier. One final area that I think would be a great place to use this technology in your classroom is the generating of learning objectives or I can statements. No matter what you call them, sometimes these are incredibly tedious to generate for specific standards. And then putting it in student-friendly language can be even more challenging. 
instead of starting from just that blank slate or just the singular standard, input your details into chat GPT and see what they come up with. The standards that I've played around with in this technology were really, really cool to see the language the bot used to generate those I can statements that would support that standard. We all know our students are going to be utilizing this technology in the next few years, if not next few months, which means you might as well get on board and use it to your benefit too. Instead of writing the same things over and over again or having to get really creative with the stories you're generating for student work, it's time to let artificial intelligence do that work for you. If you're looking for more ideas to help you learn to love teaching again, to spice up what's happening in your classroom, and to find ways to really make sure you're working efficiently so your time is valued, look for our new book. It's coming out in April. We can't wait to share it with you. How to Love Teaching Again by Jamie Sears is available for pre-order now. It's a beautiful collection of real-life first-hand tips from the not so lucky teacher herself that are sure to help you love teaching again. If you don't already, make sure you go get an account for ChatGPT and start playing around with the bot. I promise you're gonna find even more than the ways I talked about that you can use this technology in your classroom to make your life a little bit easier. I love getting to talk about technology, teaching, student management, life management. Let me know down in the comments if you have other things you'd love to hear from us. We put out new videos every week. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. And as always, I hope you have a not so wimpy day. Bye.